where new pipe is installed, most gas utilities are now using PE, polyethylene plastic pipe. This is extruded in continuous lengths and then cut into 40-foot long sticks at the factory. The sticks are delivered to site by truck and then reassembled back into long lengths by fuse welding them together. This considerable waste of time and resources can now be avoided by purchasing the pipe in large coils. Using coil pipe with this trailer, a 1,000-foot run is completed with only two fuse joints instead of 26. Each joint takes about 20 minutes to complete and cool, so coil pipe saves us at about eight man hours for every 1,000 feet of pipe installed. The reround straightens and removes any odality from the pipe. It also removes any stored energy so the pipe can be handled safely without recoiling. The pipe, of course, is uncoiled directly into the excavation with less opportunity for it being damaged or being a hazard to other users of the road. The U.S. gas industry installs 23,000 miles of PE plastic mains annually. In Europe, more than 75% of large PE pipe is supplied in coils. If this practice was copied in the USA, our gas utilities could save more than $30 million a year. You can be sure they will be pushing pipe manufacturers to supply more of their pipe and coils in the near future. For World Business Review, I'm Christopher Thomas. The use of coiled plastic pipe is becoming more and more commonplace here at PSE&G. And with its use comes the requirement to use coiled pipe trailers during the installation process. What this video will demonstrate is the correct procedures for loading and using the PLCS coiled pipe trailers. Before you begin the process of loading coiled pipe onto the trailer, the first thing to do is to examine the coil thoroughly for any signs of damage. Use a backhoe or boom truck with a sling to pick up the coil. Then move the coiled pipe to a suitable location for loading it. If the eight steel crossbars are in position across the trailer bay, remove each of them and store them in the compartment in the front of the trailer. Aluminum bars are also available for the trailers. Be sure to use the safety straps to prevent the coil support spider wheels from moving. Now go ahead and open the upper rear trailer gate. Have the backhoe raise the coil sufficiently to allow it to be loaded onto the trailer. Be sure to extend the stabilizer legs. Now back up the trailer until the coil is centered within the trailer bay and at the right height to insert the crossbars. One important point, be sure to face the outer end of the coil to the rear of the trailer. Now insert the first crossbar using two people positioned on opposite sides of the trailer. Then load the remaining seven crossbars following the manufacturer's sequence. To remove the sling, lower the bucket of the backhoe down along the back side of the trailer so that it may be unhooked while you're on the ground. Now go ahead and close the upper rear trailer gate. Next, you'll need to secure the coil by attaching the pipe end clamp to the inner end of the coil tighten it securely. Attach one end of both of the yellow web straps to the pipe end clamp and the other ends to the eyelets on the inside center of the coil support spider wheels. Tighten the straps to pull the inner end of the pipe coil as far as possible away from that side of the trailer bay. Now fit a towing head to the outer end of the coiled pipe. Attach a web strap or rope to the towing head. Slide the angle roller and the re-rounder into alignment with the free end of the pipe. Bring the web strap through the angle roller and re-rounder 
and attach it to the bucket of the backhoe. Cut only enough coil bands to fit the end of the plastic pipe under the top roller of the angle roller unit. Be sure to open the angle roller unit and the re-rounder as wide as possible. Now pull the plastic pipe through the angle roller unit. Be sure to adjust the entry and exit re-rounder rollers to the correct position for the size of the pipe you're using. Wind down the top roller on the angle roller unit until there is sufficient back bending of the pipe. This will push the end of the plastic pipe down so that the backhoe can pull it through the re-rounder unit. Pull the head of the plastic pipe through the re-rounder unit so that the towing head and a small amount of pipe lays beyond the re-rounder rollers. Now close the re-rounder rollers to prevent movement of the pipe during transportation. The trailer is now loaded and the pipe secured. You're ready to transport the trailer to the job site. Once on the job site, reattach the web sling or rope to the towing head. To assist in straightening the beginning of the coil, use the backhoe to begin to pull the pipe downwards and away from the trailer. Cut only the outer layer of the coil retaining bands to begin the operation. Cutting them all will release all of the tension on the coil and poses a safety risk. The rear stabilizer legs are only used if you're anchoring the trailer and pulling the pipe off the trailer such as for directional drilling. Otherwise, they remain in the fully retracted position so that you can anchor the pipe or fuse it to a piece of previously installed pipe. With the pipe anchored, slowly drive the trailer away from the pipe end, keeping the trailer parallel to the excavated trench. As the coil is dispensed, Stop periodically to cut the coil bands for the next layer in the coil. When you're roughly halfway through the coil, stop the trailer and re-tighten the yellow webbing straps. Continue laying the pipe until there's approximately one-third of a revolution of pipe on the trailer. Disconnect and remove the two yellow web straps and the pipe end clamp. Run the remainder of the pipe out of the trailer until there's approximately three feet of pipe inside the angle roller unit. Allow the pipe to remain in this position while removing all eight crossbars and storing them in the storage area across the front of the trailer frame. Doing it this way will assist in straightening out the pipe end before you attempt to fuse it to the next coil. To prevent the pipe from whipping when it leaves the trailer, attach a length of rope to the end of the coil using a hitch style knot. Attach the rope up close to the re-rounder and position someone on either side of the trailer to securely hold each end of the line. Run the remainder of the pipe out of the trailer while tightly holding on to the rope ends. Again. This will minimize any unexpected movement of the pipe as it exits the trailer. Now you're ready to load the next roll onto the trailer and fuse the two coils together. The PLCS coiled pipe trailer is becoming a widely used device to help us install coiled plastic pipe. If you have any questions concerning the use of these trailers, please check the instructions and checklists mounted on the inside cover of the toolbox on the trailer or contact your supervisor for assistance.